Hey guys, I'm Christopher Bacon, founder of OrthoScan, president of MiniCRM.com. Today we're going to take a look at the OrthoScan FD Pulse. To turn it on, just press the green power button over here. While it boots up, we'll show you a little bit of the articulation of the C arm. This has an over rotation mechanism, that's this part here. Here's your wig wag. All right, now we're going to show you how to do some imaging. Use our handy dandy hand phantom here. Hold down and hold the foot pedal down for approximately two or three seconds before you get a nice image. And also wait approximately a second after you let go to start another one. This way it allows the system to process the image properly. And then once you see that the image comes over here, you're good to go. Just like that. Here are the two pet controls for the OrthoScan FD Pulse. Orange button obviously is for x-ray. Like we said before, hold it in for two or three seconds so you get a nice beautiful image there. You have your rotation buttons, clockwise and counterclockwise. You can tag either one of the tagged areas. You can change your technique up, down, and actually put it back on auto. Here's your cine loop and save and print. And here is your sterile field lighting along with your laser. Here are your keyboard functions for the OrthoScan FD Pulse. You can rotate your image clockwise, counterclockwise. You can change your technique up and down manually. Hit it, um, your recall button, your patient information. You can save, print. Here's your cine loop. Here's your case review. Save all function. This changes your edge. Your still motion, which is your noise reduction, your negate. You can flip your image and you can zoom your image in. Here are your touchscreen settings for the OrthoScan FT Pulse. You have your boost button up here that allows you to go to 78 kV and 160 microamps, up from the standard 75 kV and 100 microamps. You can also manually adjust your technique by using these buttons and go back into auto with that. Here's your save button, print, your cine loop, your negate button, your right and left tags, your high edge, off, low. Here's your continuous, your pulse. Gives you three, four different uh, pulse rates. Here's your noise reduction and your brightness and contrast. You can change your patient information by pressing on the keyboard here, or you can actually press it here. And here's your last name, first name, middle name, your patient ID, physician, a session number, your procedure type, any kind of comments that you'd like, and your user. You can also put in the birth date. And here's your recall screen. You can either access it through the keyboard or the touch screen. You can double tap on the case and it'll open up for you. Over here you can select all or unselect all or you can actually choose which ones that you would like. You can send it to DICOM, you can save it to your hard drive, you can unsave it and you can print. And to get out of here just press escape once get you back into the patient recall screen and one more time get you back to the home screen. When you finish using the machine just simply press the green button wait for the fans to shut off and then unplug it. The reason why you want to unplug it is that just in case there's any kind of electrical disturbances when the machine's off it won't damage the machine. Also the reason why you let the fans shut down is it lets windows shut down properly. 
This has been an overview of the OrthoScan FD Pulse. If you're looking for sales or service, please give us a call at 800-643-2998 or shoot us an email at info at Thank you.